In customer service, most of us do our best to keep it cool and respect each other. After all, a community that cares is a community that thrives. But when it comes to modern fast food joints, two things matter most. Reliable service and keeping the customer satisfied. However, sometimes some customers make it quite difficult as they always want perfection and top service as to where they don't think they're human. But in these cases, it's too far. If, however, there is one mistake, they begin to cause stress and cause chaos, even sometimes to the point of them risking their lives just to get through the situation or to simply as to manage to try to get the customer served. Sometimes the situation can lead to them losing their job. In this case, it would not be different. As 35-year-old John Cheese is being arrested for destruction of property as he then went behind the kitchen and destroyed it, making an entire mess. He is also facing battery charges and counts of robbery as he then took an entire metal steel bucket that was washed and dried from the dishwasher where the dishwashing station was and stole gallons of deep frying oil and ran off with it. Authorities were contacted and soon they found the suspect. He was arrested last night and is now on trial facing a $5,000 fine and about five years in federal prison. And it was all because they got his order wrong. And the reason he stole the deep frying oil was because, quote, I love the hustle and I'm a fiend, as he answered it during the interrogation. We interviewed the witnesses, and this is what they had to say. So it was 30 minutes until closing time. Just 30 minutes. I was out there with my fat ass just trying to eat my lunch, and there was this other dude who was just eating a salad. So it was overall normal, you know. Then I saw this huge object enter the McDonald's. I took one closer look and realized that it was actually just another human being. I don't even know how to describe him. Usually, I like to treat people with respect, and I try to care about what they want and do it as much as possible when it comes to service. But when I saw this dude, I just couldn't ignore it. This dude was wearing choco flip-flops, jean shorts, which in 2024 should be a crime, and a shirt that says I paused my game to be here. And when the first time I saw that, I knew it was actually the truth. When this dude walked by me, his smell almost knocked me over, which is probably why it took a police call not so long ago to catch him. They probably thought he had a biological weapon. I was in the back turning off the grill, and as soon as we got our last customer, he was just casually ordering. And then I started to hear some complaining. So I turned around and he starts rushing inside the kitchen, which if you had a bowling ball of a man coming at you, you'd pee your pants too. <laughs> After that, we called 911. But for a guy that big, he moves with surprising agility. I'm surprised this dude could carry that weight of what he stole along with running. I mean, he could have been an NFL star, but instead became Big Mac munching, cheesy Discord modding bum complaining about his order. He grabbed one of those buckets that we used to clean the floors and started grabbing all sorts of stuff and shoveling it in there. I, didn't, I don't even know, man. Like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. This stuff is just wild, bro. I mean, yes, it's crazy how it happened. To that, I had a conversation with one of the employees. And yeah, I was dreaming, how would you crash out of some pickles? And how would you literally risk your life going to jail for it? I hope he cleans his act up. Oh my God, it's John Cheese! Put the wheel down. This is for my grease arc. Put the wheel down. This is for my grease arc. So, yeah, after these five years, I mean, I hope he cleans up his criminal record. Maybe I'll lose some weight, try to get a good job, considering his criminal record isn't doing any favors for him. But, you know, maybe he'll be a changed man. Maybe he'll be able to actually get a job instead of stealing frying oil in his spare time. Because, I don't know. Go to the store, maybe? I mean, I know it might be expensive, but you know how it is. I mean, it's not hard to get. But I believe in him if he tries hard enough. Yeah. Thanks for having me on this interview. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me on this uh, interview. Well, thank you for having me on here. Um, I actually dropped this pair of pants that was on the ground. It's gonna get dirty anyway once I head to work. I mean, I'm about to start my shift and all that. 
But yeah, I mean, thank you so much for this on-camera opportunity. I actually plan on doing this sort of stuff. I actually plan on being an actor once I graduate from community college. So yeah, hopefully. So at least from at least from now to there, I'll know my rights and wrongs and stuff like that. At least I wouldn't be like John Cheese who stole gallons of deep frying oil and basically not only that, but also disturbing the peace with his stench and basically assault for insulting the eyes of people as he wore jean shorts. I mean, jean shorts is just insane in 2024. All I know is that you'll never catch me wearing that shit. Maybe it was good 20 years ago, but even by then, you know, jeans and shorts should be separate. They should not even be together. But anyway, yeah, thank you for this opportunity. And um, hopefully just like for me in college, it's the same for John Cheese. Hopefully it's a life-changing experience for him. You know, maybe he'll get something better than to wear that freaky stuff. I hope it changes, you know. You'll never find me wearing jean shorts again, man. That shit's some of the craziest, freakiest, most disturbing stuff I've ever seen, man. But yeah, hopefully it changes. Hopefully we all do. I think that's the moral of the story. So that's just what I'm hoping for the best of. So yeah. After the case, it is easy to lose one's temper over such a minor thing, such as an ingredient in food. But as we've seen today, the actions can lead to consequences. Fast food workers deal with crazy people every day, and we hope it serves as a reminder that fairness and communication are a necessity for a rightful and safe community. Thank you, Tom. Coming up next, who are the Costco guys? And 10 facts about the Rizzler and results on this year's election and Pearl Harbor, a retrospective. This is Don Wilson reporting on WNX7 on your side local news. Thank <laughs> you.